Hi students, all of you welcome. Welcome to Sunil Engineering Academy. I am Sunil Kumar Bandaru. Students, in this chemistry MCQ series, we have completed two sessions and it is the third one. In the previous sessions, we have completed uh, very important questions on acids, bases and salt. Still, we have some questions are pending. We will discuss those in this session. Okay, all of you ready? A few waiting for Yes, very good. Now coming to first question here, bleaching powder is used as disinfectant for water to dash. You know very well, bleaching powder chemical formula, calcium oxychloride, CaOCl2. Why we are adding this bleaching powder into the water? If you add some bleaching powder, then water will become more tastier, huh? like uh, thumbs up, right? Huh? No, no, nah, it may not become taste here. Instead of that, it, it gives some uh, smell, correct? Remove all the dirt from the water. Is it remove all the dirt from the water? How so many students will select this option? Uh, how it will remove the dirt? If you add some dirt into the water and if you add bleaching powder, all the dirt will be disappear. Uh, like mantra. Uh, Juba is gone, Juba is gone, Juhu. Eh? <laughs> it may not like that now. If you want to remove the dirt, we have to filter it. Correct? So it is also not correct. Makes the water gems free? Yes, it is the correct. Why? Because if you add this CaOCl2, that is bleaching powder to the water, it will become calcium hydroxide and it releases the chlorine gas. This chlorine gas kills the gems. Kills the gems. Okay, so then it, that means it makes the water as gems free. So, which is correct. Okay, so the answer is option C. Coming to the next one. Which of the following indicators turns red in acidic solution? In the theory session, I have given about, uh, in detail about these indicators. Correct or not? So, let us take this litmus in case of acidic, in case of base. We know very well litmus, the other is acid converts blue litmus to red litmus. So finally you are getting red. Okay, case of base, blue. Okay, so here methyl orange and methyl red. Methyl orange or methyl red. In case of acidic, it forms red color, yellow color in the base. Let us take uh, phenolphthalein. Phenolphthalein. So in case of acidic, it is becomes colorless. And in case of base, it gives the pink color. So which are converting uh, the solution into red? That is litmus paper or methyl orange or methyl red. So 2 and 4. So 2 and 4 is option D. So option D is correct. Sir, what about turmeric? Yes, let us take the turmeric also. So we eat lemon rice now. I think so many having the favorite lemon rice. In the lemon rice, we are adding turmeric and also lemon juice. Correct. If you add some lemon juice to the turmeric, uh, is it changes its color? No, turmeric is yellow color, so it is in the yellow color only. That means no change, no change of color in case of acidic. But if you add some chuna powder, okay, some chuna powder to this uh, turmeric, it will become red color, correct? Okay, so here which are converts? into red color in the acidic solution litmus and methyl orange so answer is option D. coming to the next one the substances whose odor or smell odor they have in distinct smell changes in the acidic or basic media are called as olfactory indicators i have already given this what are these let us take uh, on here it has distinct smell vanilla glow these are nothing but olfactory indicators. 
So how we can get the solution is acidic or basic by using these olfactory indicators. Whenever you add some essence of onion, vanilla, clove to the acid, it may not change its smell. Smell may not change. Smell may not change or may not loss. If you add into the base, it loses smell. Loses smell. So by using that, you can get the idea. The solution is acidic or basic. Which one of the following is commonly used as an indicator to measure the exact pH? For exact pH, we go with the universal indicator. I have given in detail about uh, this universal indicator in the theory session. You can watch that one. Phenolphthalein is a dash type of indicator. Already told that is synthetic type of the indicator. Common salt or NaCl is made up of. They have given strong acid, strong base, weak acid, weak base, weak acid, strong base. It means, so we know very well, whenever HCl is react with NaOH, you may get NaCl plus H2O now. That is, NaCl is made with HCl and NaOH. Okay, HCl is the strong acid, correct? Industrial acid, so strong acid. NaOH is a strong base. So it is formed by reaction with a strong acid and strong base. So answer is option A. Option A. Which of the following type of medicine is used to treat the indigestion? For indigestion and also antacid, they are using MOM formula, milk of magnesium, magnesium hydroxide solution. Okay. So both are interrelated. So indigestion. For indigestion, we are going with antacids. Okay. Coming to the next one, honey is dash. If you go with the average uh, pH of honey, honey having so many acids in it, less than four. Okay. Are in the order of four. So four means acidic in nature. So answer is option A. Acidic in nature. So answer is option B. Which among the following is false about acids? Let us take each and every one. Everything. Okay. So they have H plus ion in aqueous solution. Yes. They will give reforms H plus ions. Most acids contain hydrogen. Yes. This one also correct. HCl, HNO3. Uh, all having hydrogen. They turns blue litmus to red litmus. Yes. Br, bar. That is also correct. They are bad conductor of electricity? No, they are good conductor of electricity. Which is wrong? That is correct. Okay, which is false now. They are asking false one only. That is answer is option. Which of the following compound is also known as oil of vitriol? In this, uh, the previous session I have given oil of vitriol, very violent, violent acid. That is a uh, strong acid, H2SO, sulfuric acid. Answer is option B. Okay. To treat indigestion, we have already completed, I think, antacid. Which is also known as carbolic acid. Which is also known as carbolic acid. Phenol. It is belongs to phenol group. Carbolic acid is belongs to phenol group. Which of the following is used to remove the ink and rust spots from the cloth? For this, we go with oxalic acid. Oxalic acid. H O O C C O O H it is present in tomatoes. Correct. Now that means don't use the tomatoes to clean the uh, ink and rust spots. Okay. Tomato having uh, so many other particles also, na. Okay. Coming to the next one. In the following, it is acidic in nature. Which is acidic in nature? Lemon juice, acidic. Tomatoes, acidic. Milk also slightly acidic. So all are acidic means, so go with option D. These type of uh, questions also, so many students will give the wrong answer. Why? Because whenever they read question, which of the following acidic, whenever they see lemon juice, ah, yes, lemon juice is acidic, so they will give the answer as option without reading B, C. Correct? Okay. But one advantage is also there here. 
if we don't know the answer if we have the option all we always go with the option all uh, mostly 70 percent uh, uh, will be right correct uh, so be careful guys sodium chloride it is a salt salt is the neutral so very near to the neutral means seven which of the following will turn red to blue which convert red to blue guys that is rbb base now so here which is the base vinegar acid baking soda is the base lemon juice is acid soft drinks are also acidic in nature okay so base is correct so the answer is option B. answer is option coming to the next question the nature of calcium phosphate is present in our tooth enamel that is calcium calcium is the metal metals are basic in nature so basic and coming to the next one what happens when base is added to vanilla vanilla is the all factor indicator na? see indicator so i already told ghanian vanilla flow are all factor indicators so in case of acidic may not lose its smell in case of basic they lose its smell correct you know very well all this so here base is added to the vanilla vanilla losses smell losses so the answer is option coming to the next one questions are completed guys okay so we have completed so many questions in this uh, acid spaces and salts okay all are very very important and all of you please share all this uh, information to all your friends okay and don't forget to like the session also okay and if you want to give any suggestions you can give comments here in our sessions we are not discussing any unnecessary data okay so all are very very important useful for all your competitive examination okay rrb je alp and okay all the ssc examination okay okay students thank you so much for watching take care bye guys